right within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away Good morning, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I am back from Vegas and finally have fully recovered from all of the fun that we had. I initially thought once I got back that I was getting sick because I could hear like a little thing in my chest, um, but luckily I didn't get sick. I thought maybe I had mono because all I was doing was sleeping. It just meant that we had a really great time and it also proves that I just cannot bounce back like I used to when I was a bit younger. So we are going to slow things down. I know that you guys enjoy travel videos and home renovation videos and I promise you that they are coming back very soon. Mark and I have a wonderful trip planned for the end of December that I'm bringing you guys along for but until then I just need to slow things down and be able to enjoy my favorite time of the year which is right now during the fall and the winter months. I love the holidays and I remember last year Mark and I were working on the fireplace and we were trying to get that finished and it took up all of our time. And what I realized is, is that the only Christmas decorations that I put up were those decorations that I put on that fireplace. And then three days later, I was in Ohio spending the holidays with my family and I never really got to enjoy them last year. So this year, I am planning to do just that. I'm going to slow down. Don't worry, I'm not putting the camera down. You guys will be following me along through this whole, you know, holiday season and I'm really Really thinking about doing vlogmas this year and for those of you who don't know what vlogmas is it's basically like an advent calendar for YouTube and so you go on starting December 1st all the way through the December 21st or December 24th and you do a video every single day so I'm thinking about it, I'm planning for it, I will keep you guys posted, but I really just want to enjoy it and I thought that maybe documenting every single thing that I do for both the Thanksgiving and the Christmas holiday would be really fun to, to document here. So we shall see. So this afternoon I am going out to lunch with my friend Ashlyn. She actually invited me over to her house and it's been a long time since we've been able to just sit and catch up and figure out what's going on in each other's lives. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring you with me. I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to film just because I really want to have the time just to spend with her, the quality time to spend with her without filming. So I might get little bits and pieces there. Um, um, but we'll see. I am bringing her a little gift that I created for her. Just some cute little flowers that to me looked like her when I saw them. I got her a candle. I got her some fabric napkins and I think she's just going to really like it. I just wanted to give her a little something to, um, for, to thank her for inviting me over and just for being such a great friend. So I am actually going to get some coffee. I have not gotten coffee this morning so I'm going to get some coffee, look at some emails for work and then I'll head over to Ashland's and I will uh, I guess see you guys there. loving, kind human being and I'm just so 
thankful that we have become friends because of social media. It is just, it's amazing. And she's just lovely. And so is her home. Um, she allowed me to take some pictures of her home. And just when you walk in, you just feel, you feel welcomed. It's so cozy. It's warm. It's inviting. You just feel like you want to be there for hours. And so we had a nice little lunch um, out on the back porch. I got to meet her cute little puppy that uh, she adopted a couple of years ago I believe and it was just a really nice afternoon I'm so glad that we finally were able to like get together and spend some time together to catch up so now I am leaving and the great thing about going to Ashlyn's house is she lives right by the mall and I actually need to go and pick up something from Nordstrom. I need to pick up some cream for my face and then I also want to see if they have this pair of shoes that I have been looking at. Do I need them? No. Do I want them? Yes. Will I get them? We'll see if they have them. So I will meet you guys over at Nordstrom. Unfortunately, they did not have what I was looking for. They didn't have the shoes. Not only did they not have the color or my size, they didn't have the shoe in store at all. And then the primer, the cream that I wanted for my face from Bobbi Brown, they didn't have that. It was all sold out. So I don't even know why I come to the mall anymore because every time I come, I never leave with what I am looking for. They either are always sold out or they just don't have the product. So anyway, I am going home now because I gotta do some work. <laughs> I kind of skipped out of work today to go on this lunch, which was absolutely worth it. Um, but I need to look at my email and uh, do like one little project. And then later this evening, I am meeting up with some friends to go out to dinner. And so of course I will take you guys with me for that. So I'm gonna take a little break for a while and I will see you later on this evening. Hello, so I've been doing some work. When I got home, I had several emails that I needed to take care of. So I've got those finished and then just spent some time like watching YouTube videos, <laughs> just relaxing. And now I am getting ready to go out to dinner with some friends. So as I was kind of thinking about this evening, I was like, how did I actually meet Corey? So I'm meeting up with my, Cor my friend Corey, um, also her friend Jackie and her friend Ramon. And so I just cannot remember the first interaction between Corey and I, but I actually think I met her through Ashlyn. And if it wasn't through Ashlyn, then it was through our friend Cameron. And somehow we just ended up hitting it off and we have been saying for years that we should get together and we never have and now we finally are doing that this evening and then her friend Jackie I've only met once in person and she follows my newsletter as well as my YouTube and so we have been saying that we should get together and it's never happened and so now after all of these years we're finally getting together tonight
And then for those that used to or that have been following me since my Instagram days, back during the pandemic when I would make cocktails every Friday and so basically I would make a new cocktail, I would make a video of it, post it on Instagram and then directly after that I would get on a virtual happy hour with my girlfriends. And so we had been just doing that um, basically for the, uh, the entire pandemic and I think Corey might have either reposted one of my cocktails or forwarded one of my cocktails to her friend Ramon and so then Ramon and I started following each other and have just been insta friends ever since and so we have actually never met in person before so tonight is going to be our first time meeting and I'm really excited nervous because you never know like you never know if the people who you talk to online are the same or feel that you're the same from you know kind of what they think of you online like you guys might think of me one way and then you actually meet me I hope and I pray that when you meet me I'm exactly the same as you see on camera but you just never know so I think that we're gonna have a really good time together I'm really excited to just meeting with um, all of these three people that we've been saying we should get together and we never have and so all of the stars have aligned and somehow meeting Ashlyn meeting up with Ashlyn earlier today and now meeting up with Corey Jackie and Ramon it's just gonna be so much fun it's been such a great day and I'm really looking forward to this evening so we are gonna get some pizza we're actually going back to pizzeria toro where i went a couple of weeks ago when we were kind of getting ready for my trip for st croix so we're going to go back there tonight they just have delicious food amazing cocktails and i don't know if the night will end there or if we'll go somewhere else but of course i am bringing you guys along for the entire thing so i'm going to continue to get ready and then i'll meet you guys downtown any film inside because we were having such a great time but I wanted to you guys to meet everyone this is Ramon Jackie and Corey are you guys yeah okay yep you're good okay <laughs> there we go now the personalities come out <laughs> morning <laughs> my hair is a bit of a mess right now but I'm getting that together but last night was so much fun we had such a great time together and I'm sorry that I didn't get more footage but as I was sitting there at the table I was like I'm not gonna record this I just want to be present for the conversations that are happening at this table and I want to get to know each of these people a little bit more and it's just so cool that we all met via social media or mutual friends and now we were sitting there having dinner together and it was just it was really so much fun we shared a bunch of food we laughed we you know kind of talked about our own personal lives and what our goals were in terms of traveling for the upcoming year it was just a really really good and authentic time and I'm just so happy that they invited me to go out and it was just it was just really cool so I didn't get a lot of footage but trust me we had a blast we really had so much fun and at the end we we're like we absolutely have to do this again so Corey Jackie Ramon you guys are the best thank you so much for inviting me out and I cannot wait for us to be able to do that again so today I am about to go to Raleigh because I have a new obsession for the last couple of days I have been sitting on the couch watching YouTube specifically watching Benji plant 
and I'll pop his information up here on the screen. But he is a plant lover and he is amazing. He, he has like that voice, it's almost like a Bob Ross voice where it's just very soothing and you just want to sit there and just listen to whatever it is that he said. Even if he was just like reading the phone numbers out of the telephone book, I just want to listen to whatever he's saying. But then on top of that, he is just a master at plants. And so it got me thinking as I was just watching episode after episode after episode, how much that I really used to enjoy taking care of plants. So when I was at my apartment downtown, I had a ton of plants and they were like super small when I got them and they ended up, I had this like fiddle leaf tree um, that I had and I absolutely loved it and I just babied that thing and she grew to, to, to be taller than I am. And unfortunately, when I moved here with Mark, um, the lighting just wasn't the same as my apartment. And so a good majority, including that beautiful fiddle leaf fig tree that I had, died, just died. And so unfortunately, as you guys know from some of the other projects that I've done, is that the majority of our light is on the opposite side of all of our living space. And so really anything in the living room right now just does not get enough light to stay alive. And so I've just been trying to figure out like what plants can I bring in to give the space, you know, some greenery and just to, you know, make it look nice and cozy and warm um, without it dying. And so I've had a really hard time trying to find those plants, but watching Benji, I have gotten some ideas. He even has like this grow light that I think is just amazing that I think that I'm going to buy. But he doesn't buy just like the regular, um, he doesn't buy just like the regular plants, you know, like a spider plant or a snake plant or anything like that. He buys like things that are more like Japanese and Asian forward, just like very, just very, very cool things. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to find anything like that around here, but I do have some shops that are on Etsy and eBay that have a lot of the similar style like he uses um, around in his home. And so today I'm going to go to Raleigh to a couple of different plant shops um, around the city to see if I can find anything similar to what he has. And a lot of the things that he uses are also succulents. So of course I'm going to go to Zen Succulent, which is one of my favorite um, shop plant shops locally here. It's black owned. She has a shop that's in Durham as well as in Raleigh. And since I'm, there's a couple of other shops in Raleigh that I want to go to today, I'm just going to go to her Raleigh shop. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited just to see how I can potentially bring back plants into this home because I just really love them. And then also being at Ashlyn's house, um, just seeing like all of the greenery that she said and I didn't record her because again I just wanted to be there and be present um, in the moment but she always just has such amazing advice and she was just saying like you know when you look at your home like one like take pictures of the spaces that you're looking at and see if you love them in the picture and I thought that is such a great idea because like to my eye, I feel like I love it. But if I take a picture of it, often I'm like, uh, I don't love it as much. Um, and so she was just like, you know, look through the space, look through the picture that you took and see like, does any space need a little bit more greenery or a little bit more color or a different shaped object? And I just thought that that was really, really good advice. So I'm going to do that downstairs. So I'm just going to take a couple of pictures of different areas downstairs and see, you know, kind of what, what needs to be changed. And so today I'm, like I said, I'm going to go try to see if I can find some new plans and then maybe even some new decor items, who knows. Um, but I just kind of want to kind of freshen things up. Every time I go to her house, I'm like, oh my God, my house is awful. It looks a hot mess and I'm never inviting her over until it's perfect. <laughs> So I'm going to go and just see what, what things I can do today to kind of, you know, update our living room space downstairs a bit. And then also I am going to go, one of the things that Mark and I love to do is to go to Raleigh and there's a bakery that is just 
phenomenal and it's called Bolton Bread. They have the best things. They're called morning buns and they are so good. So, so good. So I figured since I'm going to Raleigh, I can just stop at Bolton Bread, get me a morning bun. I will probably pick up one for him as well as one for my friend Rosalind because she loves them just as much as I do. And, um, and then I'm going to go plant shopping and of course I am bringing you guys along. So I am going to finish getting ready and then I will meet you guys at Bolton Bread. It's all good. It's all good. Another day, where we going? I don't know, but I'm on the way. Yeah, gotta keep it on a high note. Give it everything, you got, baby. Where to go, my guy? Good vibes, I need it. Feeling so sly. Cloud nine on my feet, and at the same time, it's going down. I can see now it's time, and I'm right, right where I wanna be. Yeah, it ain't a cloud in the sky. Feel good to be a liar. Yeah. And everything's a okay. And all I gotta say is all good. It's all good. Even through the highs and the lows, yeah, you know it's all good. It's all good. And we gon' make it, I know, cause you know it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah, you know it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Hey, goody, goody. It's all good. Let me know it, man. It's so much trying to steal my joy right now. Gotta take it on the stride, looking at the brighter side. Mama told me, don't you ever stop believing. I thank God I'm alive and I'm breathing. Dark days on the I got them. <laughs> I got three. I got one for myself, one for Rosalind, and one for Mark, and I'm so excited. They go really fast, so I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to snag one, but I was able to get three, and I am so happy about it. One thing that I didn't realize is they changed their location since the last time that we were here. I just put in the name Bolted Bread into my GPS, and it just brought me here, and I thought when I was on the way, I was like... This isn't the way that we usually go, but maybe there's just more traffic or something going on the other way. But then I come here and they have like this much bigger, beautiful shop. It is lovely. I cannot wait to bring Mark back here because this is by far his favorite bakery in town. And now that they have like just almost like a restaurant vibe, like there's lots of places to sit. The last place only had, you just went in, there was nowhere to sit inside, and then around the corner on the side of their building, they had a couple of little like cafe tables, but there was no nowhere near the space that they have right now. So congratulations to them. Obviously, those morning buns are selling. So I am actually going to enjoy one right here in the car before I head off to the um, to the plant shops. This is by no way on my like health journey, but when you're in Raleigh, I mean, it only takes like a half an hour to get here, so it's not like it's far. But when you're in town and when you're like in the downtown area, you just have to get one of these, and it's warm one of these morning buns. I mean, the layers. Can you see? Oh, you guys, I'm telling you, I wish you could to smell it. Oh my God, I gotta take a bite. <laughs> oh, you hear the crunch? Oh my God. This is so good. Why can't these things like help you lose weight? I don't understand. Mm. I wish that I hated food. I really do. Oh my God. This is so good. The thing that is gonna suck about these for Mark and Rosalind, not for me, is that they're not going to be warm when they get them. But hopefully they can either put them in the air fryer or in the microwave or something and have this with a coffee later. But, oh my God. So, just layers on layers on layers. Mmm. Okay. I'm going to finish this. And then I'm going to you guys at the first plant store. Sorry. <laughs>
I am at this last plant shop and just looking outside, I think I'm in trouble. Let's go check it out. like in the very best way there's so many amazing things in here and I have no idea how I'm going to make a decision because we don't get a lot of light in our house I don't want to get anything too expensive but there are some things I have my eye on as well as a couple of pots so we'll see <laughs> made it out <laughs> that place was awesome I do feel like their prices were just a little bit higher but their stuff was great it was really really great so I bought a few things don't let that little bag fool you but I'm first gonna go and drop off Rosalind's morning bun and then I will meet you guys back at home and I'll show you everything that I got we'll get things planted we'll get things decorated and we'll have some fun so I'll see you guys in a bit Alright, I am back and I had so much fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed following me along today as I went to get my morning bun as well as just spending a lot of time in some of the local plant stores in Raleigh. It just felt really good to be amongst plants again. Like I said earlier, I used to love and be very passionate about plants and taking care of them and unfortunately they just did not love their new environment when we moved moved into this house and so now I'm really excited to see like what I can do in order to keep these plants alive and hopefully if these plants stay alive then I can get more plants and more plants because I really do love them I just think that I just love taking care of them but then I also just love how they look and make a home feel nice and cozy so um, I thought that I would go ahead and show you guys what I got 
and then we'll go ahead and get planting and then I'll go ahead and show you guys where I plan to place these in my home. So the first uh, shop that I went to was called Urban Pothos and it was my very first time that I was in that shop and I absolutely loved it. They had such a variety of plants. The owner was lovely. We had a great conversation. She kind of helped me you know, figure out what types of plants can work in my house versus which ones I should probably steer clear from. And um, I just loved just the whole vibe of the shop and how many amazing plants that I didn't think were gonna be available locally here. Um, I'm definitely a fan and not only do they have such amazing plants there but they also offer classes and so I've started following them on Instagram and I'm definitely going to be taking some classes in the near future and I'm probably going to drag uh, Rosalind with me. So the first thing that I purchased um, is this plant here and I don't know where the little stick is. I'm not going to even begin to pronounce some of these because they are just too hard for me to pronounce but I will for sure put them up on the screen but the moment that I saw this one I fell in love with it because this is exactly what Benji would have picked up this is very much his style just kind of very organic and artsy definitely has like that Japanese flair to it and I absolutely love it she actually said that they have classes at the shop that will teach you how to make these and so the moment that I saw it I was like I need this, can we go ahead and put this over on the counter because this one is going to be mine. Now, I it did come with this little dish here that you really just set inside. This does not go inside of a planted pot or anything like this. This is the plant, this is the pot. And so you wanna put it into some sort of bowl or saucer, but this is it. So yeah, when I saw this, I knew it was going to be mine. The other thing that I bought from that shop um, is this cactus and I really love cactus. I really love taking care of cactus. Um, they're very easy because I figure if they can survive in a desert, they can survive in this house. And so I plan to do like a kind of a funky arrangement um, with this plant by using this pot that I already had. It's made out of stone. Um, I got it from, I don't know, a vintage shop probably. I don't know. Um, but I just really love how organic it looks. And I think that I'm going to do like a really cool arrangement in here using that cactus. So then I moved on to Zen Succulent and there I really wanted to find something that was going to work in my space but really all of the things that she had there just either wasn't my vibe or it wasn't going to fit with due to all the light that I have. So what I did pick up from her and what I've used from her before because in my last apartment probably 100% of my plants came from her shop. I did use this potting uh, this potting mix and it is wonderful. So then I went on to the last one which I believe was Atlantic Garden. Again, I have never been there before and I was overwhelmed with how much they had. Their prices were a little higher than the other two shops that I went to, but I feel like they were worth it. I mean, that store, it was just a vibe. Like they had the bar there. Um, as you saw, they were doing yoga in the space. They just had some beautiful plants. Um, I showed you all of like the well-aged plants that they had there. I mean, that shop is amazing and I believe the prices that they're asking it's worth to pay that. So the one thing that I did get there was this hanging, um, I think it's called string of banana plant. And I just love a plant that kind of hangs off to the side. I have creeping jennies outside in our back planter. And when I saw this, I just thought this would be just really great. It's a succulent, so it should be easy-ish to take care of. Um, so when I saw that, definitely picked that up. And then I also very much fell in love with this pot. And and so I just picked it up. I love a terracotta pot. I love just the, the decoration out he, um, on the outside of it. It's just, it's wonderful. When I saw it, I was like, I have a ton of pots. I can probably make that pot because I am a potter and can make my own pottery. But um, I just loved it. And I thought this pot would be really, really pretty with this plant inside. 
So the first plant is going to be a very easy one and it's going to be this one here. Like I said, it came with this little saucer here, but I'm not going to use that. Instead, I'm going to use one of uh, the pots that I actually um, have made for myself, which is this one here. I just think that it's really beautiful and I think that um, this plant will fit just very nicely in there and be able to, you know, to sit on a table or on a windowsill already. That just looks really cool to me. So in order to care for this plant, what you need to do is you need to fill up a bowl with water, which I have right here. And so you just fill up the bowl with water and then you set this inside of the bowl for about 10 to 15 minutes and just allow it to soak up all of that water. And so then once you do that, then you dump out the rest of the water into the sink and this plant will have enough water for a good week or so. And then you just kind of repeat that whole process fill the bowl up with water, let it sit in for about 10-15 minutes, and then uh, dump it out. It's good to go for about a week. I think I can handle that. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and plant this succulent into this pot. Again, I just really love it, how organic it is. Um, there's like a little chip here, which I actually love. It just adds a little bit more character to it. And so this one is pretty easy to take care of. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of that dirt in there that I got over at Zen Succulent. Go ahead and just place in, remove some of the dirt. I'll go ahead and place this in. And I'm just gonna kind of place it on the side because I don't want this to just be the only thing that's in this pot. And I've learned that a lot from Benji is that he kind of plants things off to the side and then he might put like a little stick or a little rock or something around here. And I just love that. It makes it look more of like an art installment versus just like a potted plant, you know? And so I'm gonna go ahead and just fill up the sides with some dirt. I really should be doing this outside because I'm making a bit of a mess, but I'll clean it up later. Um, so yeah, so we have this. And so in terms of the care, what um, the little tag says is that allow this to completely dry out and only water it for um, only water it every three to four weeks. And in between those three to four weeks, really allow the soil to just um, to dry up. And so I don't know if you could see it, but it is pretty dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of water to it. Not a lot, just a little bit. And I do need to get one of those little, um, one of those little spray bottles. Um, I'm making a little bit of a mess, so I will finish <laughs> doing that off camera. But I did want to show you that I have like this, um, all of these little rocks. And I got all of these rocks from different trips that we've been on. So I've gotten some. This one is actually. Um, this one here is from Alaska. This one I got when we were in Punta Cana. I have lots of black rock that I've gotten from the beaches here in North Carolina. And so, you know, I think that it just would look really cute. Got this idea from Benji, can't claim it as my own. Um, but just, you know, to add in a little something extra um, on the side of this plant. I also have um, some driftwood that I picked up from a beach trip. I also have some moss that I have from my sister's farm in upstate New York. And uh, so yeah, let's just see. I kind of really love this rock. I love all of the colors. So just like, you know, putting it right there on the side, just as like a little decoration. You see how this kind of makes it more of like a little art piece versus just a plant planted pot. I really love that. I'm gonna like just break off a little piece of moss and then just kind of, you know, maybe just put that in there as well. The final one is gonna be in this beautiful pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of fill this up with soil. And then again, I'm gonna do that same thing where I'm going to take this plant out 
and then go ahead and just pop it right on the side of the pot instead of right in the middle. Just want this to kind of hang over. There's lots of roots in here. Just kind of loosen that up at the bottom there. And we'll just go ahead and plant this right here on the side. So as you can see here, we have this just kind of flowing off of the side, which I think is really pretty. And again, you know, you can go ahead and add in like your little pieces, like your driftwood or rocks. I kind of wish, well, maybe I was kind of, I was going to say, I wish that this was a little shorter, but what if I just kind of dug it in there like this? Can you guys see that? I add like a little, hmm, I'm kind of liking this. one. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's cute. Well, I really like how everything has turned out and I like the placement of everything so far. But again, I encourage you, if you are a plant person and know a lot about plants and know specifically about some of the plants that I got today, if you have any care tips, please share them with me down below in the comments. My main goal is for these plants to thrive so that I can bring more into the space. So if you have any suggestions at all, I'm all ears. One uh, suggestion that one of the owners, I believe at Urban Pothos said, is to get some grow lights and you can get them from Amazon. She says they're pretty cheap and you can put them into any lamp in your house. And so that's what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of position some of the lamps that I have around the house right like next to or on top of some of the plants that I've planted today and see if it works. I mean, I don't get a lot of light on this side of the house like I've told you guys many times before. So maybe the grow lights will also help to keep these plants alive for a lot longer than just a couple of weeks. So fingers crossed. So I have one last thing to show you and then I promise I will let you go. <laughs> but remember that big, huge, basket that I got from the farmer's wife in Greensboro. Back when I went to their shop, you remember I absolutely fell in love with it, had such a great rapport and conversation with the owner, and I ended up buying this really beautiful vintage basket and what I've always wanted to do was to put a plant in it or some sort of tree and so what I've done over the last I don't know couple of probably months probably several months now um, is I've had Mark just go out to the backyard and clip off some branches from the tree to put into the basket and so now I actually ended up finding this faux tree and of course I love everything everything that is real but I know that the light in this house is just not going to grow a full tree and so one of my friends Ty she sent me this um, she sent me this post and she just thought that I would resonate with the girl who was decorating her home and within her home she had this faux tree that I was just like I have to have that so I went searching for it I ended up finding it on Amazon 
Amazon and it just arrived yesterday. So I haven't opened it up yet. So I thought that I would do that here on camera and put it actually right here because right here is where the basket is. And I think that it's just going to really fill out this corner really nicely. So I'm going to go and grab that box and then we'll see what it looks like. Here's the box. It's massive, which is great because I'm really hoping that this tree is going to be tall enough to kind of make a statement in this corner. So let's open her up. <laughs> Already, I am obsessed. This is perfect. Oh, I think this is gonna be so great. All right, let me take her over here. Love it, love it. This is the perfect faux tree and it is worth every single penny. I will be sure to link it down below. And if you guys are looking for something that you don't have to water or don't have to worry about a bunch of light, this is the tree for you. It is tall, it is full, and it actually looks real. I am obsessed. So with that, I think I'm gonna leave it here and let you guys go. I hope that you have enjoyed following me around for the last couple of days. I've had so much fun and I'm just thrilled that I'm able to now add plants back into my space. Again, if you guys have any tips or tricks for how to care for the plants and make sure that they stay alive, I am all ears. Please leave those comments down below. So Mark is actually taking me on a little date night tonight. So I'm just gonna finish drinking this little bit of wine and then I'm gonna get ready so that we can head out. So I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you back here next Sunday. Bye.